co-writer of Forest of Secrets comes a political medical drama where a virtue-driven earth specialist and a profit-first executive begin their tense face-off. The first two episodes introduce us to these two protagonists on opposing sides and capture the collision of their two worlds. Thrown into a story filled with complex characters, mysteries, and questions, it's easy to get lost in the details, but with such a solid cast and crew behind the helm, life seems to be off to a steady start. Episode 1 recap An ambulance pushes through traffic in the middle of the night, and arrives at Sankuk University Hospital where a Dr. Yi Jin Wu, Li Dong Wook, nervously waits outside. He opens the doors of the ambulance, and inside, a weary man holding a defibrillator with bloody gloves sits next to a patient covered with a blanket. Jin Wu pulls the blanket away from the patient, revealing hospital director Li Bo Hoon, Chan Ho Jin. The man inside is Deputy Director Kim Tae Sang, Moon Sung Jin, who declares the time of death. In a surgery room, thoracic surgeon Ju Kyung Moon, Yu Jae Myung, and neurosurgeon O'Shea HWA, Moon Sori, stare at Director Lee's lifeless body in disbelief. Interrupting their time of grief, Organ Transplant Coordinator SUNWOO Chang enters the room with papers for them to sign. Despite the doctor's protests, Chang reminds them that they need to recover the cornea quickly and forces them to concede. While the others leave, Dr. Ju remains in the room, lost in thought as he recalls a happy memory of director Lee bragging about his new organ donor sticker. Before covering the director's face drive, Ju prays for everlasting light and peace for the director, and asks for comfort and courage for those remaining. Alone on the curb, Jin Wu calls his younger brother Yi Sun Wu, Lee Kyu Hyung, and tells him about director Lee's death. Sun Wu asks if Jin Wu discussed that with the director, but Jin Wu can't bring himself to answer. Instead, he asks his younger brother to keep it a secret, and Sun Wu promises to try. Still in a daze, Jin Wu walks onto the street and nearly gets run over by a car. He watches it drive by and stares as a sharply dressed man exits from the back seat. The passenger is newly appointed President Gu Sung Hyo, Jo Sung Woo, and he marches into the hospital with ominous music playing in the background, foretelling the impending conflict he'll soon bring. Back in the air, Jin Woo fills out the death certificate for Director Lee, but he hesitates to choose between homicide and suicide. Not alone in his misgivings, pediatrician Lee No E U L, Won Jin R, stands beside Jin Woo and tells him that it's strange that Director Lee died at the deputy director's house. Before she can elaborate, a young daughter and father are wheeled into the air. Dro visits Deputy Director Kim in his office and mentions the police officers who just came out. Her accusatory tone isn't lost on the Deputy Director who explains that Director Lee came to his house drunk and went to the roof for a smoke when the accident occurred. Dr. Oh doesn't push further, but warns Deputy Director Kim to not look so well kept since rumors are already spreading. The police officers who questioned the deputy director find their way to the air, but unfortunately, the young daughter from before has already passed away, though the father still lives. A nurse asks them if it was a robbery, but the patrol officer sadly informs them that it was an attempted double suicide. Jin Wu finds no EUL curled up in her office, and asks why she thinks it's odd that director Lee had a drink with deputy director Kim. She tells him that someone heard them fighting today, and doubts that they were on friendly terms. Despite her suspicions, Noe Yuel doesn't want to believe that the deputy director would have actually harmed the director, and she asks Jin Wu if she should take this information to the police or not. Before he can answer, Jin Wu is called down to the air, and contemplates the two DOAs today. The young daughter died from being stabbed by her trusted father, while director Lee died after being stabbed with words by a trusted junior. Jin Wu silently notes April 5, 2018 as Director Lee's final day as well as the day of his biting remarks to the director. The officer from last night finds Jin Wu sleeping at the station since he's been waiting to ask the officer about Director Lee's death. The officer asks when Jin Wu last saw the director, leading to a flashback of that fateful day. His brother Sun Wu called Jin Wu, telling him that some of the hospital funds were funneled to Director Lee's private account, so Jin Wu barged into the director's room wanting an explanation. All the while in voiceover, present day Jin Wu lies to the officer that nothing notable happened during their encounter and describes the director as a respectable doctor. Since the officer has a witness and no reason to doubt otherwise, he suspects the cause of death to be a heart attack, and asks Jin Wu why he's really here. 
Suddenly, imaginary Sun Wu appears and answers the question for him, because a friend died, who was also a father. Jin Wu drives to the deputy director's house and examines the scene of the accident. In voiceover, the officer repeats deputy director Kim's story, and Jin Wu imagines the scene playing out before him. Still suspicious, Jin Wu tries to meet the witness but returns to his car empty-handed. Luckily, Deputy Director Kim leaves his home right then, and Jin Wu tails him. The scene flashes back to a meeting led by Director Lee as he harshly criticized the proposed performance-related pay system. Even if the hospital were bought by a private company, he argued that this wasn't right, and left the meeting to confront the new president. Jin Wu chased after him and reminded him that all the other doctors supported him as well. Despite his day off, Jin Wu arrives at the hospital after following the deputy director, and he is dragged to a meeting by the head of the emergency care center, Dr. Li Dongsu. A flower is placed at the head of the table in memory of Director Li, and the doctors begin discussing and complaining about the latest events surrounding the director's death. As Dr. Ju announces Director Li's cause of death as a heart attack, Deputy Director Kim enters. He tells the group that he stopped by the Ministry of Health and Welfare this morning, which Jin Wu knows is a lie since he followed him to the hospital from his house earlier, and informs them that three of their departments will be dispatched to a provincial hospital, Ob Jin, Pediatrics, and the Emergency Care Center. Though the doctors protest, the issue isn't up for discussion, it's an order. After losing a game of rock-paper-scissors with Dr. Li, Jin Wu must inform the nursing staff of the impending transfer, and as expected, the news goes over poorly. However, an emergency patient cuts their meeting short, and as Jin Wu treats the patient, imaginary Sun Wu appears before him again. Imaginary Sun Wu notes Jin Wu's rather untroubled expression and guesses that he must have somewhere else to go. Looking around the center, imaginary Sun Wu ponders the fate of the hundreds of patients who come into this er, uh, and sardonically says that they, probably won't end up on the streets. Meanwhile, Dr. Lee breaks the bad news to the emergency care center residents who suggest striking in order to voice their dissent. That night Jin Wu finally goes home, and meets Sun Wu who's just come back from Director Lee's funeral. Jin Wu helps Sun Wu, a paraplegic, change, and thinks back to earlier that day when No E U L asked him if it was all right for him to leave Sun Wu by himself. In his usual nonchalant manner, Jin Wu told her that that Sun Wu would be fine without him. Lying on his bed, Sun Wu wonders if he did something wrong, but Jin Wu tells him that the funneled account is real. He explains that Director Lee asked him how he knew about it when he confronted him, and that was enough of an answer for Jin Wu. Unconvinced, Sun Wu decides to reinvestigate the bank account, ignoring his brother's protests. The next day while leaving Director Lee's funeral, Jin Wu runs into Deputy Director Kim, and using this chance encounter, he calls out the Deputy Director for lying about his visit to the Ministry of Health and Welfare yesterday. Deputy Director Kim denies the accusation, so Jin Wu threatens to inform the police about the Deputy Director's fight with Director Lee the day of his death. Deputy Director Kim tells Jin Wu that he was actually teaching the director a lesson, and explains that he's unafraid to bear everything to the police. However, he doubts the same can be said for the saintly director Lee. Angered, Jin Wu accuses the deputy director of destroying the hospital that director Lee dedicated his life to protect.